evening everybody this is your favorite dr. crazy Wayne coming at you tonight with another new patient it's called Lords of Waterdeep and what we have about it is it's a strategy board game in the Dungeons and Dragons world so, uh, I have not played any of this. I like coming into this stuff completely fresh and unknown. And we seem to be a little loud tonight with the music. Let's try that. Well, maybe not. Alright, there we go. How about we do that? We'll see how well that works out. So, uh, again, I haven't done anything with this, so uh, we're going to do, uh, we're going to try offline first. We're going to play against AIs. Okay. I was hoping to. Okay. I was hoping to actually do something about that. Oh, there we go. That's it. Ah, there we go. Oh, uh, let's see. Who would I be? This looks pretty good. I think I'll go with that. Yeah. That's kind of weird. Oh, okay, that's how we do that. All right. Oh, okay, so let's do this. Let's delete that. That will rename this one to the proper one. And select the proper profile. There we go. All right. Uh, should we do this? No, we are not going to do that. We're just going to jump right into this. Uh... Oh, okay, so we get to pick one. Go with some average. Yeah. Okay, I see. Hot seat person. There we go. And there's nothing over here. All right. Let's see how this works. I haven't even uh, watched anybody else with this. So. So a lot of cards here flying around that I'm not sure about. Okay, you know what? As much as I want to do this. <laughs> I think, unfortunately, we're going to have to go in here and do this. Yeah. 
that was a, a lot was going on that I didn't know anything about. So unfortunately, it looks like we're going to be doing tutorials today. I apologize. You guys have probably already seen this. If I had realized it was this complicated, that I would have done this before uh, before I streamed this. So my apologies. Um, welcome to Waterdeep, the city of splendors. You are a lord of Waterdeep, one of the secret rulers of the city. Using your agents, you'll recruit adventurers, gather gold, and gain influence over the city. The game is played over eight rounds, and at the end of the eighth round, the player with the most victory points is the winner. The primary way to earn victory points is by completing quests. Quests require adventures and often gold to complete. Let's take a look at your active quests and see their requirements now. And click your active quest button. Oh, there we go. Each player starts with the game with two random quests. You started this game with the Warfare Quest, Bolster City Guard, and Safeguard the Mage, a Commerce Quest. Oh, okay. Well, uh, Warfare, Commerce. Okay. Click the Bolster uh, City Guard to review its requirements and rewards. To complete this quest, it will require you to spend nine fighters. Okay, so orange is fighters and two rogues. Okay, and black are rogues. Oh, this is very much a European uh, wood token meeple game. Okay, okay, I got that. Uh, upon completion, you are rewarded with 25 victory points. Let's take a look at your other quests. Uh, this quest requires a fighter, a rogue, and a wizard, and four gold. In addition to rewarding four victory points, this quest will add two wizards to your tavern. Wizards are harder to come by than fighters and rogues, so let's work to recruit one. Currently, Blackstaff Tower is the only location where we can recruit wizards. Oh, okay. So purple. Let's start by assigning an agent to the tower. Uh, to do this, drag an agent from your agent pool and release it upon this tower. Ah, my meeples. Meeples! Your agent recruited a wizard. Agents help you gather the resources needed to complete quests to purchase new buildings. Recruited adventurers and gold you obtain are placed in your tavern on the left side. After assigning an agent, you have the opportunity... To complete one quest before ending your turn, if you have the required adventures and or gold, you can spend them to complete any one of your active quests. Right now, you do not meet the requirements for either of your quests, and you must end your turn. And go. In Lords of Waterdeep, a player begins their turn by assigning one agent to any available action space in the city. Once their turn is complete, play passes to the next player. It is now the AI's turn. To complete the quest, safeguard the mage, you still need a fighter and a rogue. Assign an agent to the field to recruit two fighters and then end your turn. Go Meeple! Click the end of your turn to confirm the choices to complete your current turn. Okay, they're taking some cards. Send your last agent to the Grinning Lion Tavern to recruit two rogues. All right, Meeple. You now have the adventurers and gold to complete one of your active quests. Drag and drop safeguard the mage onto the complete quest tray to complete it. And then hit the end of the turn button. The Lord of Silver Stars assigned their agent to Castle Waterdeep, claiming the first player marker. Let's harbor. Okay. Whoever has the first player marker at the start of a round assigns their agent first, and then the play proceeds to the next player. 
Once all the player's agents have been assigned, they will be returned to their respective agent pools, and the round will end. Yes. Uh, Cliff Watch Den has three action spaces instead of the usual one. Each space allows you to take one quest card. However, each action space has a different effect. The first gives you two gold, and the second a random entry card, and the third replaces all the quests with new quests. Then you can choose one to assign an agent to the first space. Each quest has a quest type listed above its picture. Most lords... Give bonus victory points at the end of the game for each quest completed of a certain type. Before choosing a quest, let's examine your lord to find out what gives the bonus and victory points. Ah, click my head. You are Lord Kelvin Astron, the Black Staff. At the end of the game, Kelvin grants bonus victory points for each completed uh, uh, Arcana and Warfare quest. Active quests of these types will display the icon of a masked lord while in the active quest tray. Oh. Since your lord receives a bonus for completing Arcana quest, take Dominate Owlbears from the available quest. Drag and drop. Let's get Owlbears to the acquire quest tray. Okay. So that's what they were getting was quests. Click the intern button to confirm your choices. Okay. Okay, so there are three of us? Oh, okay, so you can click between them. Okay. Sign Nigent to the Pillith to recruit a cleric so you can complete Domesticate Owlbears. You can now complete the quest Dominate Owlbears, drag and drop the Domesticate Owlbears to the completed quest thing. Click the intern button to confirm your choices. Send an agent to the second space of Cliff Watch Inn and take the Arcana Quest study the Illich March. Okay, so I need. By placing an agent in the second action space at the cliff walk and you also receive the entry card, Call for Adventurers. Entry cards can be played by assigning an agent to Waterdeep Harbor. We'll cover that and more in the next tutorial. Okay. Yes. that yeah okay let's purchase a building all buildings cost a certain number of gold that we must spend from our tavern assign an agent to the shop and collect four gold Click the end of your turn signing an agent to the builders hall allows players to purchase new buildings which adds a new action to the game. At the start of each round, one victory point is added to each available building that is awarded to the player who purchases them. Let's examine the available buildings. The upper left corner lists the building's cost in gold. Once purchased, a building is added to the right side of the map and becomes available for any player to assign to their agents to. The player's faction is added to the building to designate the owner. A player may only own a total of nine buildings. Uh, this is the Tower of Luck. Uh, and you get three? Okay. The center lists... Oh, cost eight gold. Okay. The center lists any special instructions as well as the rewards a player would receive by assigning an agent to that player. A player assigning their agent to this building would receive one cleric and two rogues. Okay, that's why I was right. The bottom lists the owner benefits. Anytime a player other than the building's owner assigns an agent to it, the owner will receive the listed owner benefits. 
For this building, the owner could receive a cleric or a rogue. Oh, okay. That's kind of neat. Sign an agent to the Builder's Hall and purchase Flintlock Court. You will gain three victory points. Cool. Uh, click the end. Water Deep Harbor has three action spaces. By sending an agent to Water Deep Harbor, you are required to play an entry card. If you don't have an entry card, you'll be unable to assign an agent there. Oh, okay. And so we have some. Play the entry card. Call for adventurers. Drag and drop the call. Adventurers to the play. Entry tray. Okay, Call for Adventurers allows you to recruit any two adventurers while your opponents get to select any one adventurer. You only need one cleric and two wizards to complete the quest. Study the Illic Arch. Take a cleric and a wizard by dragging and dropping them. Okay. So, and the question mark symbol. Oh, okay. And a wizard. Uh, click the end button. After all agents have been assigned in the round, each player with an agent in Water Deep Harbor must reassign their agent to another action space. The player whose agent occupies the action space labeled 1 represents first, followed by the agent in 2 and 3. You cannot reassign an agent back into the Water Deep Harbor. You'll need an additional wizard to complete one of your quests. However, Valkstaff Tower is already occupied by another player's agent. Lucky for you, the building you purchased earlier went unnoticed and is unoccupied. Reassigned to the court. Now you have the required adventurers to complete the uh, uh, Arcana quest. This quest is of a special type called a plot quest. Let's take a look at what makes the plot quest special. Plot quests have ongoing effects in addition to providing rewards. For example, study the Illic Arch grants you an extra two victory points whenever you complete an arcane arcana quest. That's going to mess me up all the time. I'm so used to saying arcane. Complete the plot quest. Click the end turn button. Okay, to confirm. Yeah. Okay. Would you like to continue? Yes, of course I'd like to continue more tutorials. I want to get through this so we can actually get a real game and what's going on. Ah. Send an agent to the second action space and Cliff walks in and take the quest. Recruit. Okay. Repel Drow Invaders. You received an entry card, Repel Drow Invaders, which is a mandatory quest. When you play an entry card that is a mandatory quest, choose an opponent and give that quest to that player. A player cannot complete any non mandatory quest until they have completed all their mandatory quests. Ooh. And your turn. Oh. House of Wonders. Spend two gold and get some stuff. Send your agents to Water Deep Harbor and play the entry card Repel Draw Invaders. You can then give this mandatory quest to AI player number two by selecting their faction, the Silver Stars, in the supply tray and confirm your choice. Okay, now you give the mandatory quest to the AI player 2 by selecting their faction, the Silver Stars. Um, I, 
Yeah. Is that the one that's lit up? Okay, can't that one. It can't be that one, so it's got to be this one. Oh. Silver Stars, City Guard. Oh, but that doesn't really tell me anything, does it? Well, it can't be that one. Oh, I can see back behind there. Okay, yep, there you go. And click end. Some quest cards are worth more victory points than others, so don't ever count your opponents out. Ooh, 25. He's been racking up for that one. If there is any quest at the Fifth Watch Inn that you want, you can reset all of the available quests. You must then select one of the newly drawn quests. Assign an agent to the third space. Okay. Remember, your plot quest gives you an immediate benefit for completing Arcana Quest. Select the Arcana Quest. Investigate. Okay. A lot of top of those cards are cut off. Uh, makes it a little hard for me. Resign your agent to the Castle of Waterdeep to take back the first player marker and receive an entry card. And done. The Silver Stars have assigned an agent to your building, activating the owner's benefits, which allows you to take either a fighter or a wizard. Oh, select a wizard. Yeah, it already told me. Yes, I'd like to continue. At start around five, each player receives an additional agent, which is available to them for the rest of the game. Okay. That's going to be really tough. And these are what I want to complete anyway. So I need wizards. You've learned the basics of the Lord's Water Theme. Now try completing the game on your own. Remember, your Lord will give you bonuses at the end of the game for each Arcana and Warfare quest you complete. Additionally, your plot quests uh, will give you extra points for each Arcana quest you complete. That's a lot of guys. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah, nine. Uh, give me two. That's like four. Then give me the two there. That would give me one for that, one for that. That wouldn't be bad either. I don't have any money though. So yeah, let's be playing an entry card. Uh, remove something from an opponent's tavern. Each one removes a fighter from his or her tavern and returns it to the supply. For each opponent that could not do the do so, take one from their supply and place it into your tavern. Oh, and he can. He cannot though. It's not really worth it, I guess. Right. Draw quest from the deck equal to the number of players. Keep one and pass the remaining to the player on your left. Eh. Wow. Move ink from your opponent's tavern and place it in your tavern. Oh, now see, that's nice. And that would give me that. That would give me the other. This one, though, I get to place it again somewhere else. Um, I think I'm going to do this first. Oh, I didn't realize I had six. Mm -hmm. 
I just don't have any money. Ah, of course. Oh, okay. Um, let's see then. That was kind of pissy, dude. Um, need that. But, I think I'm going to do this. Remove one square from an opponent's. Eh. Who's got what? He's got, uh, player one's got no warriors. He's got everything I want. Let's see. I need three for that. Um, oh. Yeah, we'll do the you. And I will take that. Yeah. Yes, that's what I shall do. Uh, so, oh, take some money. Uh oh. Oh, he took care of that. <laughs> oh, and he took that that I can't get now. Okay. Um, let's see. Mm. Oh, I could complete that, couldn't I? So it only takes me down by one. So I gotta. Oh, yeah, apparently I gotta play first. Okay. Um. Could use another mage. And since he took that, that would give me some gold. But I don't want another quest card right now. I'm not really interested in this. Could use the warriors. Yeah, I guess I'll take the warriors. And. Yeah, complete this. Okay. And that is take money from the spite. Each opponent can choose to pay you four gold once to score four points. Oh, okay. Oh, let's see. Where should I put you? I don't have any money. Uh, oh, but I want to play that entry card, don't I? Is that get a card? Take the first player marker and draw one. Oh yeah, draw one entry card. So I and can't play here again. Um, I need two mages for this one. Um, all right. Spend two gold. Oh, no, I can't because I don't have any gold. If I can get another entry card. I, I, I guess multiple cards isn't a bad thing, I guess. Um, I'm going to get this guy back. Uh, but I gotta go second. That means he gets the place first. There's only things. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. He took that. And he went there. Uh, 
All right, well, uh, I got no cash, so I guess I'm going to get that guy. <laughs> I guess I could have done this, though, couldn't I? Is that play? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, he's going to pay the money. Well, that's not bad. Let's see something here. Oh. Uh, is that like two for two gold? Or is it? Oh, no. Or is it, it's two and two gold. Oh. Well. Then. Oh, man. What do I got, though? Choose a quest type. Arcana, commerce, whatever. Draw and reveal until you reveal a card of the chosen type. Oh, yeah, I don't want that. All right, so, well, wait a minute. Let me see something else here. I think that's get a card, not play a card. So, but, yeah, this is, yeah. Two monies and two guys. All right. So... I gotta have four monies for this. Oh, that's gonna be a tough one. But I might be able to knock this one out here in a in a minute. Yeah, if I can get this, that's nine. Or this one. Yeah, I'll go for this one. Damn you! Oh, but I get. Uh let's go for a mage. Yeah, I forgot. I'll go for a mage. Oh, and he gets to play. Oh, you suck. Now, how would you know I needed that? Uh. Well, there's another. Well, I guess they could take those spots, though, couldn't they? Um. Well, I need these. So I'll do that first. Oh, look at that. I knew it. Take two from this flying and place them in your tab, and each opponent can choose to give you one to score three. Oh. Score three points. Oh. No, I give. Oh, no, wait a minute, though. I'm planning on taking that one. No, I need three. So, yeah, no, I'm not going to give you anything. Oh, you... Uh, yeah. Well, so much for me getting money. Um. Well, I guess I'll do this. That'll give me my nine. And that. So, I, yes, I can finish this. This is your favorite Doc Crazy Wayne. Wanting to thank you for being part of this Games Therapy session. If you think the session was a good one, please hit that thumbs up. You can be alerted to more Game Therapy sessions by clicking subscribe and hitting the notification button. If you want to help more games with your therapy, feel free to use the links in the description to access the Patreon page or the Streamlabs for donations. Thanks for the collaboration, and I hope you come back soon for another.